Brian Little. <laughs> And looking at this display that happened in this courtroom, it doesn't even line up with the biblical text at all. First of all, what's really irritating me is there are a lot of people that like to go to extremes. They like to go either from I have to forgive everyone and everybody for everything that's ever been done. And I have to debase myself. And even when I feel anger and everything in my body, every cell in my body is telling me that I need, deserve justice and I deserve better, that I need to fight against that and just lay roll over and let whatever happens happen or they go to the other extreme and say oh you know forget the bible um i hate god and they'll blame god and me personally i didn't want to go from one extreme to the other when i left christianity alone i didn't throw the baby out with the bath water because the bible actually opened my eyes to the lies and the fallacies and the paganism of christianity would know first of all you have no business in the church listening to people who have done what these people have done historically and you have no business worshiping wood and stone which that's what the cross represents and in the Muslim faith when they go to Mecca the black stone that's what that represents uh, along with other religions and you wouldn't have graven images to begin with if you really believed in the Ten Commandments you would not have white Jesus on your wall that's um, alongside JFK and Martin Luther King <laughs> you would not um, have any graven images in your home because you live by the biblical text and the biblical text and the Ten Commandments tell you not to. With personal injury, anyone who strikes a person with a fatal blow or kills anyone, their fate is to die as well. Now, if this is not done intentionally, that someone hit someone and caused them to die, then they are to be placed in a designated place. But in this situation, you can read from the text messages how she felt about black people and the situation itself. She did not try and help him. She did not try and do everything she could to save his life, if I believe her version of events. She made those jokes about black people and racist comments about black people. And that leads me to believe that honestly from what the neighbor said when he heard the voices they had an exchange she did not like what he said and she shot him that's what it sounds like to me personally so that would put her in a place of where she meant to kill him also if you can take a dylan roof down who has an automatic weapon if you can take a man down who has an arsenal and shot up the concert in Nevada you mean to tell me you couldn't take down a supposed intruder that didn't even have a weapon and was possibly hiding and walking toward you 
okay and for those who are confused about repentant behavior or truly being sorry when you're sorry you accept your fate it's no different than black people asking for reparations because biblically whatever a person steals they have to pay back fivefold and you can go to Exodus 22 and it'll list if you steal something you have to pay back double at the very least so for everyone who wants to go to the other extreme um, I understand Christianity and Catholicism and etc that's all the other man-made religions steeped in paganism I'm not talking about religion I'm talking about the biblical text that came from the Dead Sea Scrolls I'm not going to take the word of people who created the slave Bible I'm not going to accept their interpretation and I'm definitely not going to throw it out because these people are now into atheism and telling people not to believe it I don't I'm not a follower I'm not going to follow a people with that type of history that they have I left religion alone because I honestly honestly wanted to know what the truth was and the truth was that a lot of people in religion are followers of men and not followers of God and they use the biblical text and twist words to fit their agenda and what they want to do and we have lived in this country with that for so long that even with the chains off the chains are still on our mind and we take on the words that have been given to us about the biblical text from people who used it to enslave us and this talk about forgiveness and how beautiful it is according to God like I showed by pulling up the Bible here it says that anyone who kills someone they owe a life in return if you really lived by the biblical text and also with forgiveness there's never any forgiveness for black people like that there's never any forgiveness from black people to other black people and there's definitely not forgiveness from non-black people to black people at this level when I looked at the bailiff the white male bailiff that was following Amber Geiger when the young man um, stepped off the stand to give her a hug he was looking at him like you are a damn fool and he would never that's what I read on his face <laughs> even the reporter who was talking to the jury members he had this look of disgust on his face because this is unprecedented we've never seen anything like this and this is a declaration that we give up we have no more fight in us you can do whatever you want to us and we will still give you our unconditional love and support and will not hold you responsible I can hear it's the final song before a before the end and it's sad and it's gone around the world and I just wanted to show in contrast that there was an officer in Louisiana 
who got 40 years because he shot into a car and a six-year-old boy happened to be in that car. So he got a 40-year sentence for manslaughter and then 15 years for attempted manslaughter. And that was against the person who led him on a two-mile car chase. So he'll have to serve the sentences concurrently. Um, They were looking for 60 years. They got close. They got 55. They were five years short of what they wanted. And this was a black cop here. This man said that he was afraid for his life. He was afraid um, that the man would back the truck up when he got out. He didn't know if the man had weapons and he didn't know the little boy was in the car and he didn't see the man with his hands up. This is the hypocrisy of forgiveness. And I don't see a bunch of black people forgiving. But I'm going to end this here and then the next video will start. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, 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 oh.